This is our current abode. Ah, Fremenay, your home. Where did everyone else go? Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that Father... Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremine. He is a phenomenal di... Uh, hello. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! Oh, you sound very proud... <laughs> uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? Hmm. Okay, I see. Is everything all right? Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. We were just... Oh, uh, before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Yes, I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. That's our Fremenay. Always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. Looks like rain. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and sunny? <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong, Fremenay? There's a legend about the rain that I. T it said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! If it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be there. Hmm. Let Paimon try something. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! Hmm? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend, after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the con- <laughs> Sorry. It hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. Oh, it's already- Was there something you needed- Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find- On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Oh, uh, are you- What is it, Fremenay? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel ner- Perhaps we could trouble the Traveler to help us take these materials to the Bomo- I'm afraid that Fremenay can be quite introverted. And the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. <laughs> no trouble at all! Don't worry, we're on the case! Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it- Oh, no need, no need! Thanks again, you two. customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? Oh no, we're just here to deliver some materials. Here they are. They're for making- Ah, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell right away. I've already made several orders. No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be using them for, I even offered the- But they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I had a business to run. Wow. So, is Lenny actually loaded? 
I can't say for sure, but... Hey! Is this machine what you use to make stuff here? It looks really advanced! Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? It would be a waste not to use the latest technology. But where does a big machine like that get... Ah, uh, well... It's a little complicated. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you. But basically, everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnitium. Huh? How can trials produce energy? Well, I'm not completely sure of all the details myself. When a trial is in session, the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale harvests people's belief in justice. So that's what its other function is? Hmm. Paimon heard that the Oratrice was created by the Ark, but... Paimon still doesn't get it. How could something unreliable like people's be Oh, yeah! So that means the Hydro Archon relies on the machine- Even though I've never- Besides Indemnidium, we have another type- It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but- <sighs> I thought I'd find you hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. You- You again? Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the more I owe to Conferia? Yeah, but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month? I want 50% to- Huh? Seems business isn't so great for the workshop. We've already finished our job and delivered the materials. Maybe now's a good time- Hey, hold on! Before you go around trying to collect payments, if Confrary of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. But I'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty sum of more. So why don't- Ah, uh, you're from Northland Bank. But we said we'll- uh, Traveler! Paimon! I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. What are the chances? We're surprised to see you too! What are you doing here in Fontaine? You didn't want to stay in Snezhnaya? <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now. And honestly, things have been... But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. Either way you look at it, it seems things are going- Pretty sure we'd want to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. Besides, our trip here has gone pretty well so far. Right, Trevor? <clears throat> uh, hey, you, Northland Bank boy. Don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the Traveler like this. Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? Uh, you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to- Listen to me, boy. If you want your Mora, fine. Why don't you come and take it? Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, the last time I took Tonya and Tuser ice fishing, Tuser said... Hey! That's way over the line! All right, boys! Let's see who has to pa uh, Can you at least let me finish one sentence? Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough, you're the ones who started it. This is an act of self-defense. You two will have to be my witnesses, okay? I'm sure this won't take long. Shouldn't let your guard down. No time to lose. What's your deal, Brad? How are you so strong if you're just a staffer from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank? Wait, don't tell me you're... <laughs> oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Just make sure you understand that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Got it? Uh, huh? Now's my chance! Huh. That was weird. I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers when I needed them. Strange. How could that happen? First time Paimon's ever heard of someone losing control of their vision? Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. 
Besides, I always have my delusion and... So what are you doing in Fontaine, child? I don't see its work for Northland Bank. Well, I guess it's because I've been in a... Huh? What kind of reason is that? Wait, since when... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I still have a lot to learn, but recently... There seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. Hmm. Maybe you losing control of your vision just now is connected. Hmm. That is a possibility. I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was 14, I fell into... It was during that time I learned nearly all of my abilities. The one who took me on... She was always quiet and very mysterious. Nobody knew where she came from or what she had... One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was because I had awakened it and traces of it remained on me. She said that all my con- But what is it? What did you awaken? She never explained that, but my guess is that it's related to a dream I saw when I had just fallen into that abyss. In my dream, I was in the deepest depths of the sea, and the boundless seabed was all around me. But in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. A whale? Oh, that sounds familiar! When we fought against you before... <laughs> That's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. I'll never forget it. So you used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? So why don't you just go ask your man? You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I... Ex but it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. There isn't even a trace of the place where I remember falling into the abyss. Oh, it sounds like some kind of ghost story. Yeah, I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. Oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. I just remembered I have somewhere else I need to be, so I should get going. What? More work for the Northland Bank? And no, it's more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring with some of Fontaine's official champion duelists whenever I'm feeling bored. Official champion duelists? You mean it's their job to duel? Yep. In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, they're given one chance to defend their honor by requesting a duel with an official champion duelist. The champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's best, and the duel itself is a no-holds-barred fight with no specified stopping point. So engaging in such a duel is regarded as a symbol of defending your honor. If a criminal manages to win the duel, they'll be acquitted. But if they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. And the worst case scenario is that you're simply killed in the duel. Though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty, from what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. So really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused, or those who greatly value their honor. Otherwise, why gamble with your life? So, do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. Fontaine probably enacted this system as a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. Besides, None of the champion duelists are to be trifled with, which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Apparently the one I'm meeting today, Clorend, is the strongest of the champion duelists. I had been asking her for some time before she finally agreed to face me today. Well, that's child for ya! Hmm. Paimon feels like we heard that name somewhere before. Oh, before I forget, I want you to have this. Huh? Your... vision? I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. Besides, I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. I'll come retrieve it- Hyman knows what you're up to. You just want an excuse- <laughs> whatever gave you that idea? <laughs> that sneaky guy. He said he's been feeling down lately, but he seemed to- <sighs> 
Seems we don't have much to do for now. Wow! Who could have seen that coming? The reporter who was barely around for most of the story was the murderer all along! Uh, sorry. Paima was just surprised, that's all. <sighs> Paima never saw that twist coming. The murder mystery novels here are um, a hoot, and it's here in Fontaine are a lot different than the light novels you see from Yai Publishing House. Both have their merits, but my mind thinks this time it's so exciting to reach the moment when the mystery is uncovered, especially in the one time. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, hey, shouldn't we be having? Lenny said that the Opera House is on air in the end, so let's go ride the Aqua Bus. <laughs> Archon, please bless us with a bright and healthy child. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy at <laughs> I guess if there are, kid, then there's no... Maybe this is one of the customs in Fontaine. There sure are... Vache. What's wrong? Vache. Vache. Say anything. Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. All the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. It's customary for ah! <gasps> Lynette! Mm, Lenny asked me to wait here for you. Uh, right. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. <gasps> hey! You're not trying to Hmm, I see. I might be able to in fact. You might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro- It's because of her sensitivity to the hydro element? But what- When do you cry, Paimon? Wait, what? Just answer me. Uh, when Paimon's really sad? Oh, and- Then you should understand that tears contain your most int- Like I just mentioned. The Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Even the So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. So, what did the voice say? Huh. If you were hearing- Rather than worrying about them, we should worry- Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just- Oh, right! No time to lose. Ah, Traveler and Paimon. Good to see you. I knew you two would come. Are you kidding? We wouldn't miss it for the world! We've been looking forward to it! <laughs> I can tell, judging by... But you're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. The Opera House has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and here are your tickets. Ooh, front row seats! Thanks, Linny! Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Hey, Linny! Could you come over here and take a look at this? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's- Yeah, we'll just go to our seats. You go ahead, Linny. Oh, these should be our seats. Come on, let's sit down. 
Traveler, maybe we should strike up a conversation with the person next to us. Oh, you little... Excuse me, I did not realize you felt awkward. I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. Oh, uh, so you heard all of that, did ya? Uh, wait, that's not it, Paimon's sorry. Um, Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. Uh, oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early. A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Oh, so you're not friends with Linny, then. Oh, this is nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. We just arrived in Vod... It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across to that. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. Oh, Monsieur Nervillette. What an honor it is to have you here to see my show. Ah, Mr. Linny. I should say it is in fact an honor for me. Uh, wait, Nervillette? Could he be... Hmm? I saw you all chatting just now, but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervillette is. Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. It wouldn't be too much to say that he's the simple. Whoa! Uh, sorry for being so rude, just- No offense taken. Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so... And by the way, I should probably let you know, there's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats that has been striking a po I believe she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive first imp- So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's Farina, the Hydro Archon. <laughs> Very good. That is for the best. No need to- Huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? All right, please wait just a moment longer. I've pretty much fi- Yay! The show is finally about to start! Ooh. Ooh, they're dimming the lights! The show must be starting! Hmm. Ah, sorry. Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister, Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, l Hello, everyone. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but... Th Whatever. Now, some of you may be thinking, Two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have n Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show re Now, without further ado, let the show begin. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Oh, and before, you never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. isn't what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? This one's a little tricky. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely. Right before your very eyes! Hmm. 
It's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. Oh no! I told them to check all the props carefully. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage, so let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. <laughs> Lynette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still... To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage. Huh. Guess you're right. I don't couldn't believe her. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed... But our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared... The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lin in which case, I have ample... So, for my next trick, I will require... Please, if my assistants could bring up... There are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is he... I'm sure many of our clever audience members... Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Now please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't- Wow! How's he gonna do this? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks? Or does Lenny have actual superpowers? The lucky audience member will be generated by this random number selector. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then. Let's begin. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, row seven. Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as... You don't need to do anything, but no ma... If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up. You might even find yourself in the Fortress of Mary. Oh. <laughs> All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing like this. 60, 59, 58. Just keep counting down. You can go a little... I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying... Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Paimon kind of wants to count faster after hearing him say that! <laughs> no, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. You st- Come on, repeat after me. 60. 60! 59! 58! That's right, perfect! Keep it going! All right, I'll- 54? 53? 52? Why aren't you counting, Nervalette? I am counting in my head. I think things are exciting enough and merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Oh, all right. You look so serious. That 40, 39, 30. Mr. Linny, are you all right in... Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double-checking the... It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example... Even though he's saying that, Linny doesn't seem nervous at all. Ah, what was that noise? Did you hear it too? Not sure. 
Anyway, this- 25! 25! What's wrong, Mr. Linny? I, I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. Never mind the decorations. There's no time. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. 19, 18, 17. Uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know 10 seconds and change is still plenty of time. Almost there now. Whew. Swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait. Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Seven! Hey, slow down! Six. Honestly! Five! That doesn't count! Zero! now, right? What happened? Oh, no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. The girl was... This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards, secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed... <sighs> yes, that's right. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this... No need to be alarmed, you two. We'll get to the bottom of this. Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. His name was Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troupe. Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowell in the box, rather than the guest from the audience. And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial dis- uh, the, the <gasps> That's the case that Charlotte mentioned! <laughs> I know. I know the truth. I can see through the whole thing. Really. I say that our powerful magician, Mr. Linny, is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case. Huh? Why me? This whole thing was an accident. No. Oh, this all occurred during your magic show, did it not? The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? Now that I think about it, that whole speech about magicians making things disappear... But that can't be right! How can Linny do this? He was in the box on the stage the entire time! We can even hear his voice! Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances! He could've... Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina. May I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against- huh? I just think that he- Well, I, uh, think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. But what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Looks like she's gonna personally deliver justice. 
A kidnapping and murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Lady Farina said it all. <coughs> uh, I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. That's right. I mean you, Traveler. You'll support Linny, won't you? After all, he was the one who helped you the first time we met. <laughs> then there's no problem at all. You know, the Traveler and I already had a... But with Linny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible outcome. So, no more draws. Between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here, on the grandest of stages, the Opera Epicles! Huh. It wasn't a draw. She obviously lost last time. I understand. Charges have now been pressed, and as such, a tr well traveler. Seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic... Are you willing to act as Mr. Linney's attorney and defend him in this case? Very well. The trial will be held a day from now in the Opera House. Both sides may investigate the scene to build their case. Linney and his troop are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. <laughs> Lenny! Sorry about everything that happened just now. Of course! Who wouldn't be scared after witnessing an accident like that? Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. <sighs> How could this happen? And I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Tell me, do you think I could possibly be the murderer? I understand. Even I'm not sure what happened, so I can only imagine- I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. But, if you ask, I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not. And I don't ask for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear. I'm afraid I don't have any- Even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. Which is precisely why we need to investigate! As this book says, <clears throat> The impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been that which is possible. Paima bought them when we were reading at the bookshop in the city earlier. Pretty cool, huh? Don't worry. Paimon used her own savings to buy them. It wasn't from our travel funds. I think they look... You have good taste, Lynette. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. I need to get back to my normal self. But with the guards watching our every move, it's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I to prove our own innocence. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, just like- Oh, uh, since we're going to start investigating, Paimon has a question first. Ah, oh, well, I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential- The secrets behind our magic are past saving, Linny. I suppose you're right. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important. <sighs> Tis truly a pity. As a magician, our magic shows a... But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind what... We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. All right, let's go have a look while the investigation teams... Are <laughs> Hello, officer. How's the investigation going? Ah, uh, I see. You must be the traveler that Lady Farina mentioned. Listen, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Huh? What do you- Come with me and you'll see. The deceased is one of Linny's assistants named Cowell. 
Even though he hadn't joined the troop long, he was hardworking and everyone generally liked him. The assistants are usually in charge of setting up and inspecting the props, as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd in. As you probably saw when you were in the audience, the water tank suddenly fell and smashed the box with cowl and This is the real mystery. We've already searched the scene and were unable to find any tr However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. The ropes holding the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics on stage, causing them to snap. All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see this as a mere accident. If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned, and Linny is the most likely person to have access to all- But he doesn't have a motive! Are you both good friends of his? Uh, well, you can't say we're good friends, but... So in just a short time, he was not only able to win your trust, but even convince you to act as his attorney. I know there's no such thing as magic. The real trick of a magician is holding the audience. I've seen a lot of cases, and I can tell you that people are the least reliable kind of evidence. Sorry, I tend to be pretty straightforward. Just know that I'm warning you for your own good. Anyway, you may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves if you're curious. Who knows, maybe you'll be able to come up with some new evidence. How can it be burned through so quickly by fireworks? Hmm? Why are you suddenly so serious, Traveler? Oh, most of it was burned away, but there's still a... Huh. Wait! Oh, this location has also been cordoned off because the magic troop, the seats, were all booked in advance. So we were able to deduce the missing woman's identity by checking the get- Sure, it's not like this is confidential information. Her name is Halsey. She's a painter from Fo- Apparently, she wasn't a regular at the Opera House. The magic troop members all claim not to know. Simply put, she wasn't related to the magic troop at all. Hmm. That's how it seems to us, in any case. Apart from the fact that they were all young women of around the same age range, I don't need to be so full. It is of utmost imp-
investigation team has some new findings. See, I told you. What if the machine- Sorry to interrupt, but we're helping Linny and Lynette with their side of the investigation- You're trying to help them? <laughs> Linny used the machine to pick a random member of the audience during his performance, right? Well, we thought there might be a serious problem with the machine, so we had it taken away for further inspection. It turns out that the seat number it picked wasn't random at all. The machine picks that same number every time. I'm sure you already know that you have to make a reservation in advance to get a seat, regardless of whether it's a trial or some performance. In other words, Linny knew who would be sitting where from the- Hmm, that much checks out. Linny reserved our seats for- Let you see why I was saying it'd be tough to make a case for Linny. I see that you're investigating the- If you find any new and interesting leads, be sure- We don't have too many thoughts yet. <laughs> then why don't I tell you my hypothesis? The thud? Oh, you mean the sound that happened during the countdown? Yes, exactly. It wasn't terribly loud, but I suspect that most- It's just that everyone was awaiting the results of Linny's trick with bated breath. So no one paid it much mind. But now that the incident has happened, the thud has become an important clue. Hmm, that makes sense. So, what do you make of it? I'm of the opinion that it may have been the sound of Linny, and when the pyrotechnics went off... But, wasn't the noise we heard too... Perhaps the balance wasn't right, leading to a particularly rough... Oh, that's true. Hmm, that does remind... of you over here huh you mean us that's right if I'm not mistaken you're also among those who wish to well you're right on the more about that one but who are you <laughs> have you never heard of the spina di rosu from mediating disputes and providing protection to solving conundrums you name it and I Navia have the honor of being its renowned president Though those who play by our rules call me boss. I'm Silver, her attendant. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Melus. Demoiselle's various daily needs and affairs are under my purview. Huh? Boss? Demoiselle? <clears throat> well, I am the second generation president. Melus and the others are still used to my previous title. My apologies, Demoiselle. Should you prefer, boss, I will endeavor to use that instead. No, no need. You don't have to call me boss. Just Navia is fine. Okay, if you say so. Not that we're members of Spina di Rasula anyway. <laughs> All merely trifling details. Never mind. Now, back to the situation at hand. That's right. I've always kept an eye on the serial disappearance cases. My in judging from the look of things, I find really? We think so too! That's why we're looking for clues now! But how did you come to that conclusion? Intuition, naturally. My unparalleled intuition. Farina sure was quick to point the finger at Linny without any- But that's not uncommon for her. Anyway, a trial begins the most- Sounds more like you just don't trust- Well, what's your opinion? I must admit that she can be interesting at times, but liking her doesn't mean that I'll blindly- Alright, I've answered your question. Now, it's time you answer mine. Wait a minute, did that answer count? 
Well, I say it does. But don't worry, you won't hear any pointless questions from me. In your opinion, do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? Um, well? And why would that be? <laughs> See, Silver and Malouse? I told you they Most astute of you, demoiselle. I no matter how wonderful the script or how fervent the audience's expectations may be. And if that can be done, boss, then... All right, that's quite enough, Malouse. Now, I need to make some preparations. Wait! Since when did we become... Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, well, I can be the assistant. Sure. Or your companion, if you like. I'm really not that fussy. More like it. Far be it from me to brag, but I believe that Demoiselle's intuition will be instrumental in uncovering the truth. You wish to save a friend from false accusations, and we wish to unravel the disappearances. In this sense, our goals are aligned. You're quite the talker, aren't you, mister? And what about you over there? What do you think? You seem like you've got something up... I have nothing to add. Oh. We'll be making some preparations first. Uh, just be sure to let us... Sorry, but no one can freely enter or exit the Opera House at the moment. Ah. We're not leaving! Were you always guarding this entrance? Yes! After the Chief Justice gave the order, everyone coming. So, the missing girl couldn't have left from here. At least I doubt. How can you be so sure, hmm? Well, because I was in charge of security near. I couldn't see Linny's performance from here. But still, I did not abandon. We Melazines are good at that sort of thing, you know. So, it's safe to say the girl couldn't have left. Alright, thank you for your help. This will be... We checked everything of note here at the performance venue. Hmm... Paimon wonders how Lenny's discussion with the guards is going. Let's go see, shall we? Ooh, things are getting interesting, huh? We're about to see how magic is made! <laughs> 